Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're discussing the sun, a nearby feature in the galaxy, and we watch the mainstream geologists catch up to the observers five years later at Yellowstone. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where things are very quiet, as forecast, but that may be about to change. While the sunspots are small and not flaring, the plasma filaments have also found stability. At most, we may have a minor coronal hole stream on its way to Earth very minor. But let's take a look next at the sunspot situation because this is where things may change. We see the small size and lack of complexity, but there's something else to notice at the limb. Gotta look closely, at least until I max out the brightness, sharpness, and contrast while peaking the yellow color. Oh yeah, much bigger sunspot at the limb here this morning. By the time you see this video, the STO will be giving us an even better look at her. Could spark flaring in the days ahead. Folks, up next we're heading to EOS, a carbon monoxide dark cloud at the rim of the local bubble. It appears to be completely structured along the local magnetic fields. It has never had a significant star formation event within it. And it is just one of many major discoveries with titanic scientific implications that are on their way. You see, there are some theories that suggest these dark clouds are probably everywhere. They were just now able to spot this close one probably the closest one to our sun, with nothing blocking our view of it. Just now able to see it. And that suggests they are indeed eventually going to be found everywhere, which plays in galactic astrophysics, cosmology, the lack of a need for dark matter, and much more. Folks, the top story today is Yellowstone. It was 2019 or 2020 when we fully ran the data and said there was no way Yellowstone could build pressure for an eruption. It's got a pressure release system unmatched at any volcano in the world where it can just vent it out in three different ways instead of building to a big blast. We've made about four videos on this specifically, and yes, that is what you are reading here more or less, except... This is now allegedly a new discovery that couldn't have possibly been known about before right now. Really, fascinating. Tell me more about how nobody could have known this was the case before right now. We will wait. Folks, lots happening at Observer Ranch this week, astrophotography class, and then Kings of Catastrophe. It's a two-day Earth Disaster Cycle conference with Dr. Dunning and myself. Dr. Dunning is retired from NASA and Caltech, has about a billion super cool interests. And this weekend, he's going to help explain why our version of the disaster cycle is the correct one. Folks, we have pole shift conferences on the disaster cycle every single month, prepper days with specific skills and focus, lots going on, and whether you want to see the events list or view photos or book your stay, it all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.